Embarrassed for the first time, Russell Brand has addressed the numerous rape accusations against him in public. He has refuted the claims and called them hurtful attacks. During a lengthy and extensive 45 minute interview on Tucker Carlson's X program on Wednesday, Brand, 48, made multiple references to the claims he is facing as well as the current police and BBC investigations. He responded, I reject the allegations in the strongest possible terms. Of course I deny any allegations that has been advanced. The star of forgetting and Arthur before calling the accusations against him appalling, Sarah Marshall said that he is the target of a deliberate profound attempt to shut down any dissent in an astonishingly aggressive way. During the conversation, he reveals that his 12-week-old young son was having heart surgery at the time of the filming. My son had heart surgery at the age of 12 weeks old because he was born with a cardiac condition, he said to Carlson. Police have questioned Brand twice about nine different alleged offenses, and investigations are still underway. He has consistently insisted that all of his relationships were voluntary. Following media reports that women had accused Brand of a series of sexual assaults, British police announced in September that they had opened an inquiry into several complaints of non-recent sexual offenses. Brand has denied the very serious allegations, claiming on social media that he has never engaged in non-consensual sex. A request for comment on Sunday's news from Brand, spokespeople, was not immediately answered. Brand added, I put myself in a vulnerable position by being very promiscuous, during Carlson's program. Attacks like this, where the victim is charged with what I believe to be the most heinous crimes, are extremely painful and hurtful. However, there are repercussions for the careless lifestyle I had in the past, he went on. This week, Brand who has been married for seven years to Laura Gallagher, and has three children was, operating, his business out of a closed bar, in the Oxfordshire, town of Pischel. The story continues by revealing that Brand earns up to pound five million year, from his contentious images, even though he has repeatedly stated that the sexual assault claims have caused him to be fired. Brand allegedly informed the locals when he first purchased the property, that he intended to use it as a cafe, and wellness center, but he has subsequently used it as the headquarters of his worldwide business. It scares me to think, Tucker, that individuals like David Icke and Alex Jones in our nation seem to have been ahead of the curve, Brand remarked, stating that given how long the two had been talking about globalization, it was extraordinary. Since the publication of his 1995 book, And the Truth Shall Set You Free, Icke has been the target of accusations of Holocaust denial. Icke said in the book that well-known Jewish households helped finance Adolf Hitler. Additionally, he claimed that schools' usage of free copies of the movie Schindler's List indoctrinates children with the unchallenged version of events regarding the Holocaust. Ike and Bran have been together for about 20 years. Ike made to guest appearances on the famed BBC radio to show in 2008, featuring the forgetting Sarah Marshall actress. The Anti-Defamation League claims that although Jones is not explicitly anti-Semitic, he has promoted anti-Semitic guests on his show. Jones is best known for his denials regarding the Sandy Hook Elementary shooting, in which 20 children were shot to death. In a December 2022 interview, Kanye West, one of these guests, acknowledged that he liked Hitler. Ike has frequently appeared as a guest on Jones Infowars program. This week saw the release of a research by liberal watchdog media, Matters, on Brand's transformation from a beloved left-wing figure, to someone who uncritically platforms, right-wing, figures, and baseless conspiracy theories. Greg Gutfeld, the presenter of Fox News, referred to Brand as left-wing commie scum, less, than 10 years ago. Over the last 18 months, Gutfeld has been speaking highly of Brand on a daily basis, stating that the actor decided to forego his film career in favor of truth over stardom. Brand's change is known as Media Matters, as the grift drift. During the appearance, Brand stated that he thinks terms like care, concern, safety, and convenience are being used to weaponize authoritarianism, but the end purpose is for people to lose their freedoms.
We seem to be living in a period where crises come out of nowhere. He continued, a docile or terrified public is willingly to participate in these proposed solutions that usually involve giving up their freedom. The crisis is always used to legitimize certain solutions. It appears that we are always being asked to give up our independence in favor of convenience or safety, and this process is rapidly getting worse. And I think that in the upcoming year, we will see more of this. Detectives from the Metropolitan Police in London have questioned Brand on claims of past sexual offenses. Following media reports that women had accused Brand of a series of sexual assaults, British police announced in September that they had opened an inquiry into several complaints of non recent sexual offenses. Brand has denied the very serious allegations, claiming on social media that he has never engaged in non consensual sex. A request for comment on Sunday's news from Brand, spokespeople, was not immediately answered.